All right, I'm going to use the same points as I did for the distance formula, but now I'm going to try to find the midpoint. Now, the midpoint is going to occur halfway between these two, and the way to do it, just the quick and dirty way, is to find the averages. So the midpoint is going to be the average of negative 3 and 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is going to be 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then 4 plus negative 2 is again 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the midpoint between these two points is 1 comma 1. And we can very easily verify that that's the midpoint. Take the distance between here and here. Let's call this point A and this point B. So distance between A and M is going to be from negative 3 to 1 is a distance of 4. 4 squared is 16 plus the distance between 4 and 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So the square root of that is that's 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Well, if you look at the last video, you'll see that our length was 5. Now, similarly, the distance from B to M is going to be from 5 to 1. That's the distance of 4, so 4 squared is 16. The distance from negative 2 to 1 is going to be 3, so squared is 9. Again, that distance is 5. So these are both 5 units away from 1 comma 1. So therefore it is the midpoint.